I just hardly heard her name last year. Forbes says she earned $165 million between May of 2011 and May of 2012. Director Michael Bay came in second on the list at $160 million, and Steven Spielberg came in third. After receiving more than $60 billion combined in a federal bailout, General Motors and Chrysler Group don't want to get political. Both automakers have banned President Barack Obama and GOP candidate Mitt Romney from campaigning on company property. The candidates are not allowed to make appearances at GM or Chrysler assembly plants and facilities until the general election in November is over. That popular thing to do. You're a candidate and you're seen there, you know, with your uh, hairnet and, and glasses working a construction line. But they say no. In addition, GM added that Obama and Romney cannot use footage from past appearances in their campaign ads. That's, oh, well, that is really interesting. It is, it is interesting because that's kind of a great American tradition, isn't it? 646, we have Doug Emmett from Ameriprise Financial joining us once again. Uh, let's talk about uh, any uh, late breaking financial news. Let's move in the market well, here. We've had the SP K Shiller Home Index, uh, which is an index that tracks 20 of the major cities across the country. New and home we, we, have a, we have a chart up here. Okay. The dotted line, we have just gone positive, as you can see, yes. for, for the first time in many years. That big dip down there, that's back in 2000. 2010. This is this is just all home prices is, in general. Correct. The okay. dotted line is the actual index. The dark black line is overall across the country. So you can okay. see we're just now trending above that line there across the middle, pot to the positive side. Wow. For the first time in quite some time. Ah, we'll take it. Okay, let's talk about some uh, specific companies as we go along. Apple and Google have been so much in the news. Oh, it's a lot drama, of, drama. A lot of drama going on here with the Apple and the whole uh, billion-dollar settlement with their or fine, I should say, with Samsung and. The patent infringement uh, issues, and you got to believe there's more issues coming. Samsung makes 40 percent of the components that go into the iPhone. Yeah, that's interesting because they still have to be partners, and friends it, on this deal, it, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. And then you have Google on the other side that has 12,000 patents of its own and works with Samsung and Apple. And but Google's trying they, to beat Apple. Google's trying to beat Apple, <laughs> and so there's some talk that Google may counter sue Apple. It's it's Yuck. it's just very crazy that's stuff. Not over yet. We'll oh, let yeah. them deal with that. Exactly. All right. Now, when I think of Van Heusen, I immediately think of men's suits, but they also own some some different companies that also dress the ladies as well. That, that's right. PVH, which is now Phillips and Heusen, but they are all the parent company of the likes of Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Izod, uh, announced their earnings last night, beat earnings to the upside, um, huge increase in sales, and then also guided higher for the rest of the year. And it's interesting, you've seen the, the Calvin Klein, Little Shops, and Tommy Hilfiger, Little Shops within Macy's. IZOD is gonna be a Little Shop within JC Penney. Yeah. So, hmm. yeah. Let's see how that works for them. PVH. Uh, almost out of time, educate us one more, uh, one more company with an unfamiliar name, but it's products we know. Right, you hear the name Brown Shoe Company and you think of who is it? Well, Brown that's, shoes. That's, that's Famous Footwear. Okay. And you see Famous Footwear is everywhere. Famous Footwear, Naturalizer stores, they have 1,300 stores. They also announced, uh, uh, record sales at its famous footwear unit and uh, less than losses looking pretty good there as well. Okay, we have GDP numbers coming out later in the week. That's right, GDP numbers out uh, later in the week and Jackson Hole coming up on Friday. That's what the market's waiting for. Okay, great. Thanks very much. That's the Fed, right? That's right. Uh, it's a 648 at Fox 40. If you have any questions for Doug Emmett, you can send an email. The address is money at fox40.com. He sticks around on Fridays and answers viewer questions, so send them one. And here's Sheldon Orvis in the Atlantis Reno Traffic Center. Let's get down.